Hello and welcome to Riverside Crafts today. Um, today we're going to be looking at making this little house, the Christmas house. Um, it uses the Tim Holtz dies, um, the village ones, and this is just the, the basic little house. It's very cute um, and quite easy to make, so we're going to do that with you today um, as basically the last thing this year. So hope you enjoy it. Okay, so I've die cut it already and you you have roofs and everything and we'll go through it all as we go along so you can see so this is my house now to make it work so they're all, all of the little tiny creases that have been embossed in actually um will fold properly i fold it over um an a damping block because that way around i'm breaking the back of the the cardstock but i'm definitely going to be getting it along the score line that's been given for the dies so I'm not going to have a problem. Hi Sarah and hi Sue and Suzanne welcome today I hope you've got all your Christmas shopping sorted all right, so we're just going to be starting off with the house and first this just bending the tabs that are on the house to help you build it um, just over a paper, over a stamping block, just helps to keep everything nice and square so that when you're building it, you're not losing your shape of what you're doing. So I'm just lining everything up with the edges along the score lines quite easily and quite quickly. As you can probably see, I've already pre-put um, red liner tape on it. If you were doing it to keep for a long time, I would glue it. Um, but today, for ease of sorting out, I thought red liner tape might be a little bit easier to sort out. Hi Anne, nice to see you. Okay, so I'm going to join them up. As you can see, I'm lining up quite neatly along the edge and along the base. So you're going to do both sides together. Okay, and line it up again. And then this gives you your basic, the front of your house, as you can see. Okay, you've got your doors and your windows. That you're going to put in so now i'm just going to drop these tabs in because i'm going to put my roof on okay now the roof comes in two bits and i'll explain to you why in a moment um again i'm just going to fold it over the back of my block so i keep my it nice and straight hi kath thanks for joining us today i'm guessing you've all got everything sorted ready for christmas it's probably doing a bit more organization than i have this year Seem to be getting a bit behind things, but it'll catch up, I'm sure. Right, so I'm just taking my tape off, make life a bit easier. Right, so my roof has got a little cutout, okay? This little cutout is going to sit on either side of that piece there. You see? So it sits on either side of those pieces there. Those bits I'm not going to pull the tape off for the minute because they will help, they will hold the front little torch piece. So I'm just going to take the rest of the tape off. That I need off now, right? So here we go. So this is going to go on like so, and I'm going to line it up. Okay, and I'm just going to push it down onto it so that it's in the right place for me, so it looks neat and tidy. Fold it over the top. Make sure I've got it in the right place again. And there we go. So that's my little house made so far. Now, it has, as you can see, wherever I put my model, here it is. You've got this little piece here that's going to go on. Hi, Serena. Welcome. This is here. Um, I put this on after I've tiled the roof. Now, I've done this is because then I find I get a neater edge. So I'm going to tile the roof. And the roof, I'm naturally leaving as the colour that... Um, the craft card is now the reason for this is uh, much to my annoyance I have discovered that if I color the craft card with distressing and then put the um, fluff it on the fluff it changes color and I don't really want it to be nice and white so I'm just um, imagining I've got Collie Western tiles as it were now when you're tiling I'm going to start on the back because it'll be easier um, I find I use a wet glue because it comes up better. The tiles that cut for you, they are 
actually they go in alternate rows so you've got some that have got a full tile all the way across like this piece i'm just putting on now okay so they've got they end with a full tile okay which is just here you can see that's a full tile this one here ends with a half tile so when it goes on it gives you a nice tiled pattern for what you're doing so I'm just going to line it up a bit and put it in place so it holds it there we go so I literally just build them up like this going along putting my glue on trying to get them to stay in the same place each time it's a little bit fiddly but well worth it so you're just going to make sure you've got it glued in okay and I just hold it normally front and back in the middle put some glue back on make sure I've got enough on it and I'm just going to go up my rows as I go along so I'm going to alternate the amount it comes when you die cutting you get a um they do them in groups of three and you'll get two with full tile ends and one with half a tile for each um die cut piece that you do so it comes out quite quickly and quite easy you're not die cutting lots and lots of tiny bits for ages it's quite quick and easy to cut which is good so i'm just tiling up put the next one on next rows to go on i'm going to put my clips on the end in a minute to hold it so i don't argue with it so much right just get my clips you can use pegs whatever you've got to hand just to hold it in place so that you're not arguing with it i've got these clips that i've had for a long while i don't know where i got them from but they are brilliant so i use them quite a lot hi maria and oh nicole thank you for joining me i hope you're all sorted for christmas and that i'm getting organized this year hopefully a bit more organized than i am because i'm definitely running a bit behind or I feel like I am. I probably am not, but that's how I feel at the moment. There we go, put that one on. Next one. Okay, and you go all the way up. So it's quite quick and easy once you've got going. Okay. And go up until you've hit the ridge. All right, I'll just put that one on there. When you got to the ridge, you just stop. If you put your last one on, and that's it. Okay, so you've got a last row that goes in. And it goes on. Put it on. Hold it in place. And you do exactly the same on the front before you put this bit in. So I'm going to have to put two little pieces on either side to start with because there's a little bit of an extra drop. So I'm just going to put two pieces on on either side. And to do that, I literally put it in place, hold it for a second, and then I trim it off. So that I'm getting what I need on that side. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. Okay. Try and make sure that I've got them levelish and trim off what I don't need. Okay. Now the next one that's going on will be a full one. All right, so I'm going to just put my glue along here. Get some glue going. Okay, right. Whole one. It's going to sit on and I'm just going to push it across. So it sits on top of those that I've just put in, like so. Okay, so that's uh, sitting there nicely. Okay, we'll just keep, then we're just going to go up again like we did before. One at a time, going up. Put my clips on to hold it while I do it. So I get everything in the right places. Okay, I found that it works better doing it this way than when I did it and I tried to have the, all the different bits of reef on first 
um because that's when i found that i made a mistake and i got things a bit muddled up so this for me was the easier option i'm putting little tiles on the roof it's very cute when it's and it is worth your fiddle it's worth doing this and taking your time um not messing around with it um not sort of taking and that taking your time over it really helps um and you'll you get a better result so it's not something to rush it's a nice little project to sit down and do when you can shut everybody out one of the better bits is because you're going to be putting um, some fluff it on, if your tiling isn't perfect, it doesn't really matter because you are going to be hiding some of it. So you can do. So that's your roof on. OK, so that's my roof. But now I've got to do my little front piece, which is this triangular piece here. It comes out looking like so. And it sits in. Just bend those little tab pieces back. Take the red line tape off for a moment fingers in having problems always got more fingers than i know what to do with and you'd have and that would sit like so now i've tiled it before it goes on again more for ease than for any other reason because it's a it's difficult to get it to do what you want it to so it's better tiled first you get a much better join when you tile them and you see now that it's gone on um, and i tiled it to what i want it's a neater finish OK, now you can trim it down and make it a shorter um, angle here, which is what I normally do, because I find that I don't actually want it quite so far out. So I just trim off some quite happily as I go along. And you can do this and modify them however you like. It's not a problem to do that and just to give it a bit more of a. Come on, you in we go. Let's make sure the red liner tape is sticking. And that one and that one right so now my roof is done but i've got this gap here at the top and in the die cutting you you'll find you get a strip that comes off you think well what's that for that's to give you your nice neat finish and again just bend it over your a block and you'll get a better finish you'll also got it you'll get a chimney and your chimney looks like this um and you literally again you're going to fold around You've got your tabs, glue it up, and that's your little chimney. Okay, so I've pre-made my chimney, and I'm going to put it on before I put my ridge tiles on, because I want my ridge tiles to butt up against my chimney. So I'm just going to put it in place and hold it there for a moment. And that. Right, so that's that piece on. Now, I'm just going to put my, while I'm holding that in place, I'm going to put this bit here on. Okay, so I'm going to put some glue along there and put that in. And I'm just going to hold that over like so. And that will hold that piece in for me. And trim off the excess. Okay. I've got a bit of roof clipped up. Put some glue behind it quickly hold it in place so that's one piece now i'm just gonna i've got another bit here that i can do on this side so i'll use the piece i've just chopped off because that can go along that side quite nicely so that's going to sit just there and then i've got another bit i cut so i'm just going to put that across there quite happily now along with the dies they tim holes has done some really cute little um, embossing folders now they, there are i think there's three there's like a cobblestone a wood one and a brick one and they come in um two different sizes so you can have them um a5 or you can have them in a6 um bear in mind that the size of the bricks and bits changing it's quite definitely with your sizes as you're going up and down so i chose the little one and this is the one I've got here. Welcome, Maxine and Rosalind and Wendy. Thanks for joining me. So I'm going to be using this little embossing folder, which gives me this effect here. And I'm going to colour it using um, my Distress Ink and my blending tool. Now, I did it with my brush initially, but the brush goes in the gaps, so you don't get to see the mortar. 
the mortar doesn't it fills in when you use the brush so i found that actually it looks better if i use my blending tool because it sits more on the top it doesn't have to be perfectly even which is quite nice because it doesn't matter how tight you are and i've just used fired brick because to me it was the right color now to make this work i have to trim this down so i'm going to cut up cut it into the panels that would normally be for the for it so i'm just taking off the tabs um because we aren't going to need those now because we're going to be sticking these in place um just to and it helps to strengthen it to do it this way it makes it quite a strong little project which is nice to do so that's that one and then i've already pre-done the other two now you can probably see on this one i've used a little bit of white gel pen and highlighted some of my bricks um you can happily do that as well so you've got plenty of time to play if you want to so now i'm just going to lay this down that's not sticking so let's put some glue under it so it holds it a bit better now i'm going to put some glue along the front here okay and a gloomy door and then i'm going to put I've got to take the bit off that separate, haven't I? Not took that piece off. There we go. And take this door off, I think, because I don't think I want that door on it. I've already got a door, so I'll take this one out. I'm just going to trim that off a minute. Okay. So we use this door here. Okay, so that's going on like so, and it will you can just slide it in place, going underneath your your eaves as it were and you can match all your little bits up for your windows and that now we're starting to look like we are a nice little cottage okay so that's got that bit done do the sides the same so my sides are going on and i'm matching up my windows the back bit Let's hold these on place a minute with the clips so they glue nicely is definitely in place get these out while they're holding them okay go run up underneath there for me please thank you Okay, and then I'll do this edge here. Pegs or clips make life a bit a lot easier when you're doing this sort of work. So just pick yourself some up. Um, no matter whether they your pegs for your washing line or you've got some little clips like this, it doesn't matter what you're using, but they will all help to hold it in place while it's setting. And that which is what you want. You don't want to be arguing with it. Okay, so now I've got my red brick on okay so i'm just going to give me a minute to let everything glue in place for a moment and while that's gluing in place i'm going to sort out my windows now when it comes to getting your windows that you've got some different ones to play with so i'm just going to cut get out the ones that i've cut for what we're doing today and i've cut them out of cream card because i don't have to paint them and i don't have to mess around with them so they're already done okay so that's the windows and there's my little window for the top just get that one out and then my door well my door i've got here i've got i i make my door and i've got two pieces so i've got the the flat piece that's the arch and then i've got another little bit here um which just makes it look like it's a little paddle, paddle door paneled door and i just used stick it on top of it so it just gives me the panel door finish okay so it gives me an idea it looks like a little panel door when it's all dried up Okay, so when it's dry, you can colour that, which will then look like this. You've got this nice little panel door here. Hi, Carol. Welcome. And I hope you're enjoying everything watching today. Okay, now I'm going to take all my clips off for now, for a moment. And now I've got, I can see that some of my corners here haven't gone pristine. But by the time I've got my snow on, I'm not going to see. So I'm just going to put my door on. So here goes my door. So that's my front door now. Nice colour. Windows. 
I'm using my favourite glue again, the um, Pin Flare book binding. It it dries nice and quickly and it holds things really well. So I have to say it's my favourite glue to use for doing most things like this. If I need to, um, I do use a hot glue sometimes um, to hold things in place. But I actually quite like um, to wet glue if I can. Um, I prefer, yeah, I tend to get a better finish when I've done it. Get that in place, line it up as best I can. There we go. So now it's starting to look like the little house. Let's get my round window, put it in place. Right, let's bring it back into the middle so you can see what I'm doing. So my round window's going on now. Get it in place the best I can. I'm going to use my pokey tool because I'm struggling with my fingers to get it in that bit. There we go. That's my window in. Straightened it up. Come on, you. You need to glue. Thank you. Right, so that's holding there. Side windows. I got a, I have got another one. I thought I should have two. Gone on like so. So it doesn't take that long to actually make your house which is quite good because you don't want to be spending hours and hours on it. So, so far it's taking me 20 minutes to build the house, which is quite good. Now at this point, if you wanted to, you could put some lights under it um, and have it so it would light up for Christmas. So you could put some little lights in. Whoop, get my fingers right. They go, and you could have them light up for Christmas if you wanted to. But um, for the ease of the project today, I'm not going to be doing that. I'm going to sit it on a wood slice. So my house is now going to be on my wood slice. And I'm going to use my glue gun to hold it in place so that I get it where I want it, really. Um, I've just got to find a, a better size glue. Here we go. This is a better one. Yeah, there we go. Right, so I'm just going to put some hot glue on the inside of my thing. I need more need more glue you never have enough glue in your glue gun when you come to use them do you right, let's see if we can get that to do that then so it's going to stand just here like so I'm just going to hook through this bit here because I've missed the I've missed the sticky somehow and it's not holding so we'll hot glue it all right so that's done that I've got my little tree so I'm just going to put a blob of hot glue where I want my little tree to stand come on you you stand in there like so in a minute I'm just going to have to hold that up for a moment while that sets so then I've started off now I've got my my trees in place on my bit of that that's too just a minute trim off the back so it's flat and then it will stay in better because it won't argue with the tree it won't argue with the house as much All right so that's doing that quite nicely now so let's move some of these things out of the way so now you can see how my house is going okay and now we're going to put some fluff it on it which is this stuff here by pink ink designs it's very similar to fluffy stuff um but i have to say you can get better textures with it because you've got more control about how you're putting it on so i'm just going to put some on um around and about so i'm just putting it on where i think i'm going to want it okay okay i'm just going to put some on the roof here as you can see that we're just sort of Putting it along and just dra dragging it down a bit, not too much, not getting too excited about it. Put some at the front, some here. There we go. Okay, a little bit down this bit here because it looks nicer. It's dark, that's some there. Not too bad. I'm gonna put a little bit on the side here. Okay. 
So that's me fluff it on. Now, when you're putting your fluff it on, because you're going to be heating it with a, um, a, gl a hot glue gun, what you've got to remember is that any hot glue that you've just used will melt again because it's going to be used up and getting warm. Okay? So, I'll just get myself a wipe at the moment. Clean off what I'm, the messing I'm making. I have to say, really impressed because I've managed to find biodegradable wipes um which is lovely then because i find that wipes make life a lot easier when i'm doing things like this to clean up quickly and sort out so there we go hot air just to give it a bit more okay so now i'm just heating it up waiting for the fluff it to start expanding It doesn't take too long. As you can see, as the, the fluff it heats up, it makes nice little bubbles. See what I said about the hot glue? If you're not concentrating, you will lose everything because you've just remelted it. put some more glue in that in a minute okay put another blob of hot glue on the bottom of this place in here down it goes okay I'm just holding it down and there we go nice little winter cottage all finished off for your Christmas display you can make yourself a whole village if you wanted I hope you really enjoyed that um, Merry Christmas to you all from everybody at Riverside and from me and I will be back I think it's the 8th of January in the new year um, with something different again so thank you very much for joining me and have a Merry Christmas take care bye bye